Strongman Steve Bolsonella has competed in lifting competitions and strength contests for over 20 years. I was brought up with, with the uh, you know, mindset that physical strength was a good thing. That was what you wanted to be as a man, as a boy growing into a man. But I found something that I really thought I was good at. I was better at than everybody else that I knew. This was going to be my thing now. This is going to be my thing. This is going to separate me from all my other friends. Now over 40 years old, and the owner of Iron Sport Gym in Glen Olden, Pennsylvania, he finds himself unable to train for an upcoming Highland Games competition. So there's a lifting accident. I was trying to hang on to a heavy snatch that I was doing, and I stepped forward and felt something kind of click in my knee. And after that, I realized it was a similar injury that I had before, and I knew it was a torn meniscus. He turns to Dr. Nick Denubli for help. Dr. Nick is the team surgeon for the 76ers for the knees and um, when I start researching him and looking at him on the internet and everything apparently he is like the guy to go to in the Philly area for knee replacements and knee surgeries. Tighten again, relax. An MRI confirms Steve's fears. It's a torn meniscus, the spongy cartilage that acts as a shock absorber and stabilizer for the joint. This is the vulnerable area. You, the knee wasn't designed for what you're doing to it. You know, you have a lot of weight on your frame. You throw a lot more weight around. Your knees tend to feel five to seven pounds for every extra pound you're carrying, whether it's on your frame or in addition. So you're, the, the forces across the knee are tremendous. And when you start, you know, for your stuff, it, it's, uh, you know, you're doing one rep maxes, you gotta cheat, you gotta bounce, and you use the knee in ways that it's right. not meant to, and it, uh, you know, if you have an area that's weakened or a little beat up, it, it's gonna fail. At Dr. Nick's suggestion, Steve opts for a relatively non-invasive arthroscopic procedure to correct the damage. And your body heals it with calcium. On the day of the surgery, Steve is given a general anesthetic. The knee area is shaved, washed, and then swabbed with an antiseptic solution. A port is established, and the knee joint is filled with water, which distends it in order to give the doctor room to see and work. A camera is inserted, and the exploration begins. Sure, yeah, that's worn there. See the fur? This normally should look like uh, marble. And if it looks more like a shag carpet, that's some arthritis. Now we have the scope almost in the very, very back of the knee, and if we flip it, it's got a little floating chip back there, which we'll get out. Dr. Danubli locates the damage. A little three-edged tear there. Another opening is made, and small cutting devices are inserted. The torn parts of the cartilage are snipped free and removed. You gotta like video games to do this. It's always a question of how much to take out. When you tear it, you need to take some out, but you don't want to take the whole thing out because it's an important shock absorber. When the area is cleaned up to Dr. Nick's satisfaction, he removes the instruments and drains the water. He then sews shut the small incisions and wraps the leg for recuperation. Put some numbing medicine in so he feels good. Pull back up this. 
What's the tourniquet time? 23 minutes, 48. Within hours, Steve is back at work. Well, the knee's been really great since Dr. Nick worked on it. It's, it's back the way it was. It's, it's 100% again. Uh, it's allowing me to train as hard as I want. And I'm really looking forward to a great summer of, of lifting and competing and throwing and everything. Only two months later, he competes at the Fairhill Maryland Highland Games and wins two of the events. Thanks to Dr. Danubli and DCMH, Steve Polsonella is quickly able to resume his life, take care of his business, and continue to compete in the sport he loves. I couldn't ask for a better experience than a surgeon or you know, any surgical team or a hospital.